Hi, welcome to Cloud Tech Packet. In this video, we're going to uh, install uh, or configure the Microsoft Hyper-V cluster in Combold Backup so that we can backup the Hyper-V VMs. So I have a cluster with two nodes. So I will install the um, virtual server agent first, and then we will add the Hyper-V cluster uh, into the Combold console. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have this cluster. And here I have two nodes, um, it's called db1 and 2. This is my two node. And I have the Hyper-V VMs over here. So um, I downloaded the package uh, for virtual server agent. So let me get started over here. Let's start the setup. Then click next. Agree terms and conditions. Next, I install on this computer. Advanced selections. Click next. Then on the Windows, we need file system or file system core. It's up to you. Uh, but uh, file system core is a good choice. Then go to virtualization. Then virtual server reset. And I will set the VSA guest uh, customization also. Click next. Okay, installation path, um, that's fine for me. I have the proper space over there. I will create a shortcut, that's fine. Click next and then next. Okay, installation completed. So display name will be fine. Click next, then Combolt uh, server name. Then click next. I need to check the host name. Okay. okay. Enter credentials of my Combolt server. next select a plan i have some plan over there so i have a vmware plan so i can use that or i will play um, create a new plan on my into combat later so click next no storage sub client and i can also include it into a group oh that's fine Click next. Okay, installation complete, finish. So I do the same thing into uh, node 2. This is my Hyper-V node 2. Open the setup. Fine. Agree. Install to this computer. Advanced selections. Select file system, file system four. And under the virtualization, I'll select virtual server. And customize I'll show. Then next. C drive is fine. Next. Next. Okay. Next, Combo server, click next. I'll use the credentials. Click next. Will not select any plan right now. Click next. No storage policy. Installation completed. So click finish. From here, I can get the cluster host name.
this is my uh, Hyper-V cluster host name. Let's get back to our Gumball server. So under the protect, then virtualization, and then hypervisor. We'll click on add hypervisor, then select Microsoft Hyper-V. Click next. And then host name we will uh, paste the host name of our FRB cluster and display name and host name we will use the same so we need to um, add the credentials i will click on add okay so here let me complete this Okay, so I included the credentials. Let's save. So I select this, and for access not, I will create a access not letter one, so, or we can select any of the access not. <coughs> so I'll select the iSqldb01 as my primary access not. Then click discover nodes. So after discovering, as you can see, we have two nodes here: iSqldb01 and 02. Both the nodes are showing over here. I have already selected this and I'm clicking next. In this screen, we can, uh, we can skip the VM group or we can create it. So I, I, I will add the VM group and the plan later on. I will skip. So I will click uh, skip over here and then I will click finish. So as you can see, we don't have any plan uh, inserted here. And under the content, so we don't have any VM groups over here. So we'll do it. And we don't have any jobs uh, running for this uh, client right now. So let's get started. <clears throat> okay. So if we go to virtualizations now, and then hypervisor, as we can see, we have two uh, hypervisor here. One is the MRV center, and another one is our Microsoft Hyper-V cluster. So let's do one thing. Let's go to VM groups. And as we can see, we have a VM or VM group while we are backing up the VM or VMs. So like that, we will create a Hyper-V VM group. So I'll, I'm clicking on uh, add VM group. Then I will select the hypervisor as uh, my FRP cluster, then click next. And from here, we have a couple of uh, plans. So, as uh, both are the virtual machines, like uh, same thing. So, I'll choose the VMware plan, then click next. And I will name it as uh, FRP VM of my um, VM group name. And then I will add the content. So you can use the rule and content. So I'll choose the content so that I can uh, choose the specific uh, virtual machine. So I'm checking uh, test VM, click save. Okay, this VM is selected. Now click submit. So we created a VM group and we assigned a backup plan, which was already created and if you need to have any specific uh, backup plan, you can clear, uh, you can create by yourself. So let's do one thing. Let's take if the content is visible right now. Okay, as you can see, we have this um, test VM here, which will be backed up. And this is my VM group. So on the same group, you can add multiple VMs. But if you have, uh, you know, separate uh, requirements like application VM or database VM or something file file server so you can add those on separate VM group and you can back them okay let's do one thing let's um, back up these virtual machines and the hyper -V VMs click on backup then click full so I'll skip email notification click submit The backups have started. I will click on view job details. I will wait to uh, complete the backup. So 
I can also get the full logs if I go to jobs. Then I can click on this three dot and then view logs. I want to see what's going on into the background. So I get, as I can see, it's called the BS agent. Okay. I chose my Hyper-P sudo jobs. Okay. That's fine. Let's get to get back to jobs. And as you can see, 10% is there. So there is a progress. And if we click on the job ID, okay, see from these window also. So let's wait for a couple of minutes to complete the backups. My virtual machine is only uh, maybe 20 or 22 GB or maybe less than that. So it will be real soon. So I come back to my hypervisor um, to check that if it's going on or not. So as you can see, my hyper BBM is running on node 2 and here it already created a checkpoint. So that means it's creating the checkpoint and from that checkpoint, it will take the backup. So let's get back to the Combo console. Okay, here it's 39% already. Let's wait for a couple of minutes. Okay. So now, I, now the backup is completed. So let's let's see if the checkpoint from the Hyper P um, manager is gone. So if I get back to my notes. So here, as you can see, we don't have any checkpoints. So that means on BMO, it's taking a snapshot. And on um, Hyper-B, it's taking a checkpoint. And from then, it's taking the backup. And after completing the backup, it's removing the checkpoint. OK, so that's part one, that our backup is successful. Now let's do one thing. We will restore this uh, Hyper-B to our another node. So we have this. Uh, um sqldb01 this is our first node so we'll restore these but now uh, hyper machines to this node okay let's get back to combo console from here we can see the full logs okay i will go to uh, my bm group again and go to protect virtualizations then bm groups so there is a couple of uh, options from where you can now uh, restore the backup. Uh, I will restore it from here. Choose Hyper BBM and then click three dot and then click on restore. I will choose full virtual machine. But you can uh, you can restore it on very uh, granular level. But I will choose uh, full BM. Okay, then click on restore. Now I will choose out of place. And then uh, the restore option, we have two options. We can uh, restore it on uh, BM or vCenter also. But, um, but I in, in this uh, video, I will uh, restore it on a same platform so that I don't face any issue there. Okay, on destination client, I choose the host cluster, or you can also choose the hypervisors from here. If you click on hypervisors, then you can get the list. So I'll choose the uh, destination client as the um, cluster, and then access node um, automatic is fine. And then I will click next, and here you can. You can choose the uh, display name of the virtual machine. I uh, will make it uh, a different name. I will tag it restore and click over here. And destination hyper v host here is showing SQL DB02. So let me check if I can um, select SQL DB01 just a second. Click over here and then I will click on configure restore options and then I will select my first node because the VM is already running on second node. Okay, default folder is fine and network adapter VSwiss VLAN 200 is fine. I'll click save. Now it's pretty good for me. 
is like this and then click next okay notify user on the completion i will i will not use these options right now we can we can use the existing unique id or we can copy the virtual machine with a new unique id that's fine as i will delete it so i will um, choose the new unique id and tix provisioning i'll choose auto or uh, from here you can you can make it any um, anything like dynamic or fix so i will choose the auto and then click next here is the summary so it, <clears throat> it will be uh, restored to hyper-v environment and this is my hyper-v cluster and then it will generate a new id and virtual machine name will be uh, test vm win 10 underscore restore and then destination host will be sql db02 and this will be my uh, destination of uh, my virtual machine which is um, cluster shared volume okay, submit okay we can go to the job details okay i think it will take a couple of minutes it's 19 parts 19 percent almost so let's wait for a couple of minutes and we can also check from here we go to view logs as you can see there is a log long log folders files here comes up so it's processing all those things so that's fine for us let's get back to jobs monitor from here once it's completed we will get back to our hyper-v host and we will check if it is restored or not and in the meantime you can also check it's 53 percent almost okay great so it took eight minutes of time and status is showing completed so now let's get back to our hyper-v host so that we can see if it's restored or not Okay, so this is my HyperP host. As you can see in my HyperP manager, so VM uh, which was original VM that is running my host two, and here on host one we can see test maintain underscore restore. This VM is already restored. So let's do one thing. Let's power it one. I'm clicking start. So I have the DCP network. It will get the new IP. I think. Clicking connect. Let's see if the VM can be powered on. It's powering on. Okay, VM is powered on. Let's see if we can log in with our previous credentials. Yes, it's logging in. So that's how we can um, back up our Hyper-V cluster VM. And if you have any standalone Hyper-V node, then you can just install the virtual server agent into that specific node and integrate the Hyper-V host into Comport. But if you have cluster, we remember that you have to integrate on um, this uh, Hyper-V cluster name so that it can automatically di um, discover the nodes. And on all the cluster nodes, you have to install the virtual server agent. So thank you guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. So in future we will upload uh, uh, like uh, how we can migrate cross platform. So to see that, um, keep us with our um, YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice time. Bye bye.